A562 comes with BIM A flight controller. It can be controlled by different kinds of transmitters. Today I'm going to introduce how to set 89 Pro or 8010 transmitter to operate A560. You can also check this video tutorial for how to use 89 Pro or 8010 together with BIM A flight controller. 89 Pro and 8010 are compatible with R12DS, R12DSM, R9DS, R6DS, and R6DSM receiver. Considering the size of the body of A560, and A560 is more suitable for many receivers, so I use R6DSM and 89 Pro as an example. Here is BIM A flight controller. A level servo is connected to channel 1 and elevator servo to channel 2. Throttle ESC to channel 3, rudder to channel 4. And the SPAS or PPM signal is connected to the receiver. Here is a wire to connect SPAS and PPM signal of BIM A to the receiver. So I connect it to the receiver directly. Here is the right connection of the receiver and make sure the polarity is not reversed. Now power on 89 Pro and A560. I have already bound the R6DSM to the transmitter. So there is a signal tower on the screen of the transmitter, which means successful bending. And we can see the LED of R6 GSM is blue or purple, which means it is bus signal. Find any supports standard bus or PPM signal. So please make sure the receiver is in bus or PPM working mode. Now set the transmitter. Long press the mode button to enter basic menu. Model type and we can select the model type to acrobatic. And then enter basic menu, reverse. Set the direction of channel 3, throttle to reverse, REV and set the other channels to no. And if you are using transmitters from other brands, there is no need to follow this requirement. And the flight modes of BIM A flight controller are switched by channel 5 and channel 7 by default. We need to assign a 3 position switch for channel 5 and a 2 position switch for channel 7. So basic menu, auxiliary channel. Channel 5. The default switch is switch C. Uh, three position switch here. So we can use switch C to control channel 5. And also we need a two position switch for channel 7. And for channel 7, VRC knob is the default switch. We need to assign a two position switch such as switch D. Return to the home page and the servo display is channel controlled five. by a three position switch, switch C. And the channel 7 is controlled by a two position switch, switch D. So the setting of the transmitter is done. After setting the transmitter, power on E560.
the safe check of the flight controller is done, and the first attitude calibration. You can place A560 on the ground to calibrate the attitude. It is advised to lift the head of A560 with about 20 degree angle for beginners to calibrate it. Then push the two joysticks like, like this for about 3 seconds. The green LED of Bond A will flash once. It is also normal for the control surface to swing or the motor to rotate once at this time. After the attitude calibration, I will introduce the flight modes of BIM A. We use BIM A V2.0. BIM A V2.0 has six flight modes. We have already assigned switch C and the switch D to switch the flight modes. And you can refer to the pictures on the screen. Push switch D up. It is stabilized mode when switch C up and general mode when switch C central and manual mode when switch C down. In manual mode, there is no general function. So the control service won't move when you turn the aircraft and push switch D down. This multi-rotor vertical mode when switch C up, an acrobat mode when switch C center, in fixed wing vertical mode when switch C down. And please note that the value range of channel 5 and channel 7 corresponding to the flight mode is shown in a picture here. When using transmitters from other brands, please refer to it to switch the flight modes. And then let's test gyro phase. Switch to stabilize mode. Push switch C up and also switch D up. Hold A560 and turn it to check the movement of the control service of aileron, elevator, and rudder. If the gyro phase is reversed, Please press the bending button on bind A to change gyro phase. Here it is. And then switch to manual mode. Push switch C down. And switch D up. It is manual mode now. And push the joystick of aileron. Elevator. And the rudder. Check the movement of the control service. If the movement of the control service of the corresponding channel is reversed, enter the setting page of the transmitter to adjust the transmitter phase of the corresponding channel. And after you have done all the above preparations, you can install the propeller and fly A560 outside.